Good morning as we gather for Morning Moments with Jesus this morning. Let us just begin our day today by just uttering the words to the Lord, I belong to you. We set a precedent each and every morning if we would get up and just say, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. Whatever you have for me today, Lord, illuminate that in my life that I might be able to see your plan above my own, your desires above my own desires, and let me let go of my ways so that I can pursue your will. And part of that is how we view worship, how we view worshiping the Lord, because the thing we need to realize early and often, each and every day, that this just can't be something we say today and say, okay, I know that. Every day we have to remind ourselves that worship is not part of the Christian life. Worship is the Christian life. Worship is giving our all, ourselves, everything about us over to the will of God and the desires that He has for the life He created in us and desires for us to live out. See, we often think of worship as words and songs that come out of our mouth, but it is so much more than that. It's a lifestyle, a sacrificial way of living that acknowledges every moment of every day that there is one that is far more worthy of our allegiance than ourselves. And Isaiah picks that up in chapter 6, and I want to read two or three verses out of that and illuminate some things that that was a progression in his life when it came to how he worshipped the Lord. Listen to this. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting up on a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and whom will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, Lord, send me. In verse number one here, he first said what he saw. He got into the presence of the Lord and saw God for who he really was. Once he saw the Lord for who he really was, then he began to see himself as he was. He said, Lord, I see you high and lifted up. And the first thing I see is how unclean I am. And I desire to be clean. I desire to worship you. And so then he heard a voice said, I need to send someone to speak to my people. And Isaiah said, you can send me. Because that's the best expression of worship that I can give. Is to say, Lord, I belong to you. See, imagine yourself in the throne room of God this morning. See the altar at his feet. Let us lay ourselves on it this morning and say, Lord, I am yours. Do with me what you will. I give up my right to govern myself because you are far more worthy to do that than I am. I know that you will never do me harm, that you will always lead me in the right way. I exist for your purpose and not mine alone. In church, I believe if we would do that every morning and then get up and live out our day mindful of who we are and who we belong to, that would be our best expression of worship that we could give. So I pray over our Morning Moments family this morning that we would get up and be about our business, whether you're driving down the road, whether you're sitting in your favorite chair, whether you're just communing with the Lord wherever you are, Let us all in one accord say this morning, Lord, I belong to you and not my will today, 
but let your will be done. And show me, Father, the great and mighty wonders of who you are. I hear you, Lord. And you can send me to do whatever needs to be done today that would bring you glory. Speak a blessing and pray a blessing over your family today, over your finances, over your jobs, over your personal relationship with the Lord. Seek Him out and watch Him do marvelous and miraculous things in your life. Hope you have a great day. Lord's will, we will see you back here again tomorrow. Be safe, be strong, and be blessed. And be a person today that says, Lord, I belong to you. Amen.